For more on today's testimony, let's turn to Lillian Salerno. She's a political commentator from Texas and served in the Obama administration and has run as a Democratic candidate for Congress. She's currently the host of a political podcast. Lillian, how do you think Democrats did leading this first public inquiry? Oh, I think uh, I think the message is clear that um, this president has given out enough information and asked, put our country at risk, and uh, it's treasonous. And I think that's what was demonstrated today. Well, the Republicans would argue otherwise, needless to say. They say Ukraine's president and Trump have pointed out there was no pressure. Ukraine ended up getting the military aid, and there were no impeachment offenses. Well, I think that the Republicans, they can only, they have one or two ways to go with this. They can say, yes, the President of the United States is, uh, uses bad judgment and maybe this is not the way he should go about it, or they can just do their scorched earth policy, which is what they've been doing since this President was elected, and we can hardly recognize the Republican Party, certainly that I grew up with in, in my home state of Texas, nothing about using the government, the United States government, as a tool to enrich the president. It's a treasonous act, what he's done. And any of us that have read the Mueller report know that this is just another one of the ongoing attempts where we put our country at risk because of the president of the United States' relationship with Russia. Uh, let me move on to the testimony of uh, Bill Taylor, a career diplomat, has worked for Republican and Democratic presidents. He's a Vietnam veteran and has really garnered the respect of politicians on both sides of the aisle. How credible was he to you? Oh, I think both of the witnesses today were credible. And I think that any Republican sitting on the sidelines, except for the ones in that room, were say, would, and those viewing at home, would say they're credible. For, for those of us who've worked in federal service in this country, I was a political appointee. I worked with dedicated public servants that served my administ our administration and Republican administrations, and they are not looking to get this kind of attention. They're being asked to put them and their families in harm's way by coming out with this information about the President of the United States, and it's not easy for them. They have no interest into lying because they're just trying to, they're being subpoenaed and asked to give information. They are not po political animals. Those are dedicated public servants, both with uh, uh, having served our country, and I just think it's blasphemous that the Republicans have tried to uh, intimidate and discredit them. This investigation, of course, moved from close, moves from closed door depositions to hours of long sessions of testimony that we saw today. But do you think we keep hearing this uh, phrase that this was really a turning point? Well, at the end of the day, uh, Lillian, will this actually make a difference? Will it move the needle in any way? Um, when you watch the testimony and you just see the sort of the the, the evidence about the President of the United States using his position to discredit a political opponent with, um, you know, aid that was uh, mandated by the United States Congress, to me it's treason. It looks like treason. When something, you know, acts like a duck and quacks like a duck, it sort of is a duck. And, and I think that folks that do, that do and, uh, look at the testimony will come to the same conclusion. We have a president that has, is either completely misunderstood and doesn't have any good judgment or that is committed treason. One of those two things is for sure. All right, we'll have to leave it there. Lillian Salerno, thank you.